to Scottsdale Phoenix is brought to you by AC by J heating, cooling, plumbing, and drains. Coming right up, another fun varsity sports show. Are you unable to do the things you love? Do you know your daily habits could be better to enhance your quality of life? Are you suffering with chronic pain or chronic illness and can't find the right solution that works for you? Fix Body Group was created so you have a team of professionals to help you achieve your health goals and get you back to doing what you love again. In Scottsdale, go to fixbodygroup.com or call 480-795-5329. Fix Body Group, proud partners of the Varsity Sports Show and Fitness Minute with Tyler Mayer. Thank you for listening to the Varsity Sports Show. Our mission is to empower education and enable dreams, creating a platform to promote young people in extracurricular activities and community outreach. If you are interested in partnering up with the Varsity Sports Show, find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or call or text us at 480-779-9437. The Varsity Sports Show, Arizona's home for youth, high school, college, and you. Hi, kids. This is DJ Soul Man from the Funk Junkies, and you're listening to the Varsity Sports Show with my man Vince Delicio. And what's, what's your last name? <laughs> it's it's Delicio. Okay, that's right. That's yeah, what I thought. Yeah. Right, right. yeah. KDUS AM 1060 Tempe Phoenix and KSLX HD2 Scottsdale Phoenix is brought to you by AC by J Heating, Cooling, Plumbing, and Drains. This program is paid for by the JV Sports LLC and its partners. <laughs> You're listening to the Varsity Sports Show, home of Arizona's youth, high school, college sports, and you, empowering education and enabling dreams, right here on KDUS AM 1060 in Arizona. And now, welcome to the Varsity Sports Show. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Varsity Sports Show here on AM 1060 KDUS Arizona. Another beautiful Saturday morning here. Uh, just uh, steps from uh, where I grew up here in town. And uh, and as I look out of the uh, studio here onto the 202 freeway and uh, South Mountain off in the distance, it's a beautiful Saturday morning in Phoenix, Arizona. Good morning and welcome to wherever you're listening from. Uh, my name is Vince Delisio. I'm host of the Varsity Sports Show, joined by a very special group this morning in studio. We have a lot of fun here at, at Varsity Sports Show, and it's not just my show, it's everyone's show, and I'm just grateful that uh, that people take time out of their Saturday morning and, and uh, allow us to uh, fill their ears and their hearts with, uh, with some uh, fun programming. Uh, joined in studio today by some special guests. First of all, I want to introduce Coach. I'm, I'm not going to come to you just yet because you're like the highlight of the show. You and, and your wife, uh, you're Winnie. But pretty uh, low, man. Yeah, yeah. I'll get I'll get to you in just a second. Hang on. Uh, joined in studio by a very special guest, uh, Geraldine Torellis. Ger- Geraldine, as you guys have been following, or if you haven't and you've been living under a rock for the past month, Geraldine is one of our talented staff from the Cronkite School of Journalism. She's actually a graduate student, raised the bar on our our programming, and uh, and she delivers uh, a segment called the Spring Spot. Spotlight series. Uh, Geraldine, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about the Spring Spotlight series. I have been really enjoying uh, getting to do this series, um, just learning about all of the wonderful things that are happening here in Arizona um, and learning about what great things are happening in the community. So it's just been great. It's not just about sports here. You know, we're trying to enlighten our 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 guests and and educate people and so with this series that you're running bi-weekly you're talking about different causes in the community different nonprofits, people helping people and it's not just again sports brings people together but there's more to life than sports you know sue me but there's more to life th- than sports and you're helping to do that and uh, and and i'm excited i am i'm excited because of the fact that that uh, that you're helping to to bring all that to light and 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 educate us so thank you for that um, we're going to get to know you a little bit more as the show goes on, but our next guest is 
Can I say former? Is it okay to say Absolutely. former? Coach? Okay, so former Buckeye Union High School head football coach um, Kelly Moore, his wife Winnie. Good morning to you two. Thank you. Good morning. I, you know, we liked, and as I told you pre-show, we said, you know, we like to keep things on the up and up here. I mean, we could, we could be like the other guys down the. Uh, up and down the dial, and we could talk about all the negative junk going on out there. We like to keep things positive. Coach, what you did at Buckeye High School, what you did prior to, to that at Mesa High School, taking the team to the state final and, and then uh, um, uh, and then starting over again at Buckeye and finishing 8-3 and three this year, I, you, you put them on, in my opinion, for a school and a community that's been around over 100 years. I, I didn't know, and guys in the West Valley – don't get mad at me, but I didn't know Buckeye as more than a, a pit stop on the way to San Diego. And and you helped to do a lot. To, you you led, meant, and you continue to lead, mentor. And you, and you led me, for gosh sakes. I've, I've, I developed a, a, a friendship with you, a sure. bond that, that you are just an incredible guy. You're a dynamic person. Coach, I know this week was, was kind of a difficult week because right. of the fact that uh, um, you were – you know, for lack of a better term, get, you know, asked to, to not return as the head football coach at Buckeye. Right. But everything happens for a reason. There's a lot of good things coming up for you. We're going to spend the hour. Our phone lines are open, guys. 602-260-1060. Give, give Coach a call. Wish him well. But, Coach, how are you feeling right now? That's a great question. Uh, besides being numb, I'm uh, feeling incredibly hopeful. Yeah. And appreciate, you know, everything that's been done you know, for me for 45 years. Uh, by the way, we affectionately call ourselves East L.A. out there. <laughs> Winnie, let me ask you. Now, it, you have been along for the ride here. And, and mm. we, you know, mm. I, with I, it's difficult. It is di- because my my wife, my spouse, my partner was a football wife. Um, and, and, you know, for many years. And uh, but what what was that journey? What's that been like? Mm. It's been great being a, a coach's wife. I mean, there's a lot of sacrifice that, that goes on, but I know the calling that the Lord has on him, and I know his heart's desire. So I uh, support him, and I'm, I submit to the Lord because I know he does. Yeah. And so I don't worry about anything, and I just be his biggest cheerleader, you yeah. know, just cheer for him and be there, you know, with him through thick and thin. You know, there's, um, there's, uh, I, I tell people this story because they just don't believe it. But mm. you, every time we've done a game, because we broadcast <laughs> games out at Buckeye, right, right. you would call me an hour and a half to, Geraldine, listen to this because you're not going to believe it. This guy's got a lot on his plate. This guy's a football coach, for one thing. He's got kids he's got to worry about. He's got to make sure his game plan is in place, his staff, everything else. He's calling me to ask me if I'm hungry before the game because he'll leave a sandwich at the concession stand for me. At halftime of one of the games we did last year out at Yonker, uh, which was an away game for them, at halftime, he's asking me at halftime, hey, Vince, are you hungry? I got an extra sandwich for you if you want it. And it's like, come on. You know, this isn't real. He's, he's pulling my leg. But that's what he's like. He is that uh, uh, transparent that, that what you see is what you get. There is no hidden motive with Kelly Moore. Right. You know, the, the only reason I can do that, though, I mean, let's just be honest. Yeah. I have incredible assistant coaches. I mean, they don't need me. And it was a testament this year. Right? Yeah. I had a knee replacement. Uh, it took me out about three months. They didn't miss me. I yeah. mean, not even a lick. And I, I mean, I'm not lying. I'm not stretching the truth. They're incredible people. Let's uh, let let's go to a coach really quick on the line, uh, Coach Ashton Thomas of uh, Edge Prize Academy. These you talk about a team. These guys are are one of the greatest high school basketball teams I've ever seen, and I've I've been privileged to see quite a few. Uh, these guys out in Gilbert uh, were uh, they were seventeen and zero going into the game that we did uh, the other night. He's got two eighth graders playing on it, on his team, oh and they goodness. scored a lot of points. They played uh, really well. They're nineteen, believe nineteen and zero. Uh, coach Ashton Thomas, Edge Prize. Coach Thomas, you there? Yes, I'm here. Uh, hey, good morning, sir. Coach, 19 and 0? Mm. Yes, sir. Come on now. How how much better can you build on that? I mean, what you you got postseason coming up. Tell us about what you got coming next week. Uh next week we have the first round playoff. Um we have a first round bye and then we start off in the quarterfinals against the winner out of two play-in teams. 
We talked about this. Tell us, what, what is Enterprise known for? Besides winning a lot of games, you guys scored almost 100 the other night. You got a lot of young players. But what, what is kind of your niche when people say, hey, that Enterprise, they do blank really well? Play defense. Oh. Uh, we're a defensive sound team. We scramble to the ball. We play hard. We play fast. We make people play, make quick decisions. You're, uh, uh, you've got a young man on your team that's, uh, I believe, a sophomore. His name is A.J. Thomas, and your last name is Thomas. His last name is Thomas. What's it, what's it like in that household? <laughs> um, believe it or not, it's very calm. Um, we he are... scores 29 points a game, though. Yeah. He's okay. A very, he's a very humble kid. Yeah. Um, very laid back, very reserved. Um, he really enjoys his time to himself and working on, on his game constantly. Coach, we are so excited about uh, about this partnership and about covering you, and we, we obviously hope that we can continue to do that because I this you guys are like, I, I want to say that you're like the, the, the Harlem Globetrotters of high school basketball. I mean, it's like an all-star team out there, and it's exciting to watch. It's fun to watch. And even watching you come off the floor, you come over and talk to us, you got a smile on your face, and then all of a sudden your demeanor gets real serious when you get in the locker room to talk to your kids. How do you do that? I just try to be a leader. I lead by example. Um, we, we definitely have the philosophy of this is a business trip every time we step on the floor. We'll have fun at the end of the season. But right now, we have a lot of business to take care of. So okay. I think you guys have bought into that. And, you know, they, they take this very seriously. Coach, thank you so much for joining us here on the Varsity Sports Show. Congratulations on all the success uh, this season. Uh, the Enterprise Eagles out in Gilbert, part of the Canyon Athletic Association. This week was the CAA Game of the Week on the Varsity Sports Show. And we'll look forward to circling back with you in coming weeks. Good luck in postseason. Thank you, sir. All right. Good to hearing from you. Yes, sir. Coach Ashton Thomas. The Varsity Sports Show presents the Fitness Minute with Tyler Mayer. Get tips on staying healthy and active with locally renowned fitness guru, Tyler Mayer. And now, here's Tyler. Okay, so Coach Moore, Winnie, uh, Geraldine, in case you guys don't know, we, we run this segment bi-weekly called the, the Fitness Minute with Tyler Mayer. Tyler's a, a, an old friend. He's a personal trainer. Um, he's, he's, his wife is a nutritionist. They're, they're, I want to say you guys are really close to being world-renowned. I mean, you guys are known universally as high-impact, low-impact, medium-impact people. The closest impact that I get to doing anything <laughs> fitness is having your segment on the show. So I want to introduce all you guys to Tyler Mayer. So, Tyler, what's going on? Oh, man, I tell you, that, I, the, bi-weekly, the introductions get better and better, Vince. Yeah. This is, Let's get know, a little like deep in here. Yeah, We're osmotic, impact, whatever whatever works, absolutely. I tell you what, I am, I am humbled and privileged to be on the air with uh, with Coach. I mean, what what a what a background, what a tenure, and like your wife said, you know, it's in the Lord's hands, and you know, one door closes, another one will open even bigger Amen. and better. So, thinking of you guys, pulling for you, and Thank however you. you know I can support you in any way, you know, we're one big family here. So, chin up as you tell your players too. So, Vince, yes, happy. Uh, Super Bowl Sunday weekend, waste management, open weekend, lots of things happening here in the Valley of the Sun. So tell us a little bit about eating in moderation. That was our topic. I don't know that, I don't know how what? much of that I'm going to follow, but but go ahead. <laughs> Why is that well, important? I'll tell you what. I love when you said, you know, today we're going to fill the ears and hearts of our listeners, and tomorrow those listeners are going to fill their stomachs with lots of stuff. So, you know, I want to get into, you know, how, how you stay ahead of it tomorrow, and then Jen's going to pop in here and just go over some alternatives, maybe not the most popular topics. But start your day as active as you can. It's going to be beautiful tomorrow. Get out, get some sunshine, get that metabolism fired up, stay hydrated, um, you know, take the dog for a walk, take the kids to the park, get outside for a bike ride. Again, we talk about 21 minutes. We've, we've pounded this in our heads now. 21 minutes of moderate to intense activity a day is all that's recommended, 155 minutes a week. Vince, I'm going to send you, uh, for the listeners, a workout I just put together, Super Bowl 56. So we're going to go 
uh, work through 56 repetitions of the workout. So it should be pretty fun for everybody. I hope we can get that posted here. Sure. Uh, Jen's going to send that to you in a little bit. And then I'm going to pass this over. Uh, like, you know, what, like actually, I let's, if I can do this, I, I would like yeah. you guys to stay on the line. We're going to bring you back okay. so that we can hear from Jen at the top of the next segment. So Perfect. don't go anywhere. Folks, when Perfect. we come back from the break, uh, we are going to be joined by fitness guru Tyler Mayer, his wife, Jen. Uh, and and it, it, they preach a lot of great things. Like I said, they, they, they do a lot of great things in the community. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, what your fitness, fitness level is. Um, the fit, you'll get something out of the Fitness Minute with Tyler Mayer as well as working with him uh, one-on-one and, uh, and his wife, Jen. So Jen Mayer, in her, in her own right, does a great job. She's a top-notch nutritionist. Folks, when we come back from the break, we're going to hear from the one and only Jen Mayer as part of the Fitness Minute with Tyler Mayer and... Uh, Then we're going to hear from our lead basketball analyst, Connor Bonfilio. Uh, Don't go anywhere, folks. And more Coach Moore. More Coach Moore. Moore. Phone lines are open, (laughs) 602-260-1060. We will be back on the Varsity Sports Show. Go Varsity. The Dan Patrick Show improves your mornings. The DP Show airs from 7 to 10 a.m., adjusting to that time change. Okay. Get your radios locked at 7 a.m. on KDUS AM 1060. Hello, everyone. I'm Griffin Greenberg, and I'm thrilled to join the Varsity Sports Show team. I will be covering something never covered before in the history of Varsity Sports Show, prep basketball. Arizona showcases some of the top high school prep basketball in the nation and has sent men's and women's hoopers to multiple top-tier colleges and even professional leagues. Join me on the ride as I take a deep dive into the scenes of some of the top competition in high school hoops in Arizona. Coming this winter to the Varsity Sports Show, AIA, high school, basketball, soccer, and wrestling. Attention, student-athletes, parents, coaches, and administrators. We are contracted affiliates with NFHS. Tired of Pixelot? Our NFHS authorized platform can spotlight your favorite team with multi-camera and full broadcast crews. We still offer our YouTube channels as well. Single game, multi-game, and season coverage available to meet every budget, including a segment on the Varsity Sports Radio Show on AM 1060 K. U.S. Arizona, dedicated to your team. We can even help promote your booster businesses. Act fast. The season is right around the corner. Hey guys, Vince here to talk to you about a good friend of mine named Bob Jenkins. Bob is a Marine Corps veteran. Bob and his younger brother DJ own Vets Built Contracting. You've seen their trucks around Metro Phoenix, I'm sure. For five years, they've been hiring and putting veterans to work. Vets Built is licensed, bonded, and insured, both residential and commercial, specializing in renovations, remodeling, new build, casitas, safe rooms, or small commercial TI work. If you're a skilled veteran looking for work, a homeowner in need of work, or a commercial business needing TI work, please call Bob or DJ at Vets Built at 4 Four eight zero five eight four three six seven five. SB Nation Radio is now Sports Map Radio, keeping sports content fresh and fun. Join us right here on KDUS AM ten sixty. Welcome back to the Varsity Sports Show here on AM 1060 KDUS Arizona. And if you were listening to the previous segment, you you got at least a little start on the Fitness Minute with Tyler Mayer. But we are joined by somebody even more famous in Tyler's house, (laughs) Jen Mayer, who is a a, uh, widely um, recognized nutritionist. Jen, how are you doing? Wow, Vince. I have to say, you build up my confidence when yeah. I come on this show. Widely I, I recognized. I every, every day. Thank you so much. What's cooking? Uh, well, well, you know what? A lot of things over this weekend and tomorrow, it sounds like, you know, Super Bowl Sunday tends to be kind of like a, like Tyler says, like, as a holiday. You know, we, we start this weekend with the mentality that the entire day is going to be built around what we're eating. And, you know, I like to say it's, it's not about just eating healthy organic food all the time. You know, I like to tell people it's, it's, I want you to enjoy your food. You should, you should enjoy food. And and Super Bowl Sunday is a memory making day for a lot of people. So you want to make sure that you're enjoying your day. You know, I don't want people to go into these kinds of days and holidays thinking that they're, you know, they have to be their strictest, you know, selves with following a bunch of rules and dieting, you know? So I like to tell people it's not about calorie counting. It's not about, making every single choice all day the perfect healthy choice but 
you know, if we can start our day active, like Tyler said, you know, taking the kids out, take the dog for a walk, start your day tomorrow active and outside, get some sun, get some vitamin D, get your energy level up, you know, have a really healthy filling meal before the game, before you go to that Super Bowl party or before you have everybody over, you know, make, make the, the early morning decisions, good ones, you know, drink a lot of water, start your day off hydrated, you know, and if you are going to a party, bring the snacks that you like, bring the snacks yeah. that make you feel good, um, that you enjoy. And that way, you know, you start your day off right like that and you go to one of these parties or you having everybody over, you already feel great. And when you feel good, you're likely to make really good choices. Um, but, you know, we all intuitively know how to eat. You know, we know to eat grilled over fried. We know to have fruits and veggies over cake. Uh, you know, uh, hold, hold, hold on hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> wait, wait a minute here. Come on. I See, I see how you <laughs> snuck that in. Grilled over fried? Come on. Really? Well, you know, and that's it i mean i'm the first one to grab a brownie off the table at a party then. yeah you know, I, I i like my sweets and you know i'm the nutritionist i'm a holistic nutritionist at that so i you know teaching people guiding people it's intuitively we know what to do we can look at a table full of food and intuitively as human beings know what's a good decision and what's a, an indulgence um you know so i think it's it's that 80 20 you know if you're starting your day and the majority of your day is good decisions then you should have no problem having an indulgence and not feeling bad about it. So it's just about making the good choices as, as often as you can and, and, and having a nice, memorable, fun time with family and friends. Winnie, do you have a favorite uh, Super Bowl food fetish? <laughs> what, what do you, uh, you – know, no, I'm asking Coach Moore's wife. And then, and then uh, Jen, you can weigh in and, and see if, uh, if, if you're going to slap uh, handcuffs on us for, for saying this food type. Go ahead, Winnie. What is it? I like – Guacamole and chips. Guacamole and chips? Okay. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> That's a fantastic uh, choice. Yeah. Mm. Coach Moore, what about you? Well, I have to say I'm the same. It, yeah. It, but a lot of guacamole. Okay. <laughs> All right. And you seem like the kind of guy that I, I could sit and have a couple beers with, too. So and, yeah. Back in the day, I would have Back been. in the day? Okay. Yes. All right. Back in the day, it was yesterday, right, Coach? Uh, or I no, wish, a little but, further back? All right. Yeah. Uh, Geraldine, what about you? Um. Well, as long as it's vegan, I'm I'm good. Oh gosh. Okay. These are You're my in trouble. We might as well These eat paper people. for gosh sakes. Okay. All right, Jen. Sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. No, not at all. I, I, I think that we would have a great Super Bowl party with everybody. Yeah. Well, um, a lot you know, of vegan and, yeah. <laughs> and well, then you, you know guys what? guilting us standing next to the table as as we go up for No, I'm kidding. Oh, no, that's gosh. that's good stuff. Wonderful. Well, yeah, so I'm I'm I gotta tell you, we, we have a major announcement. What's today? The twelfth? Next week, the nineteenth, we got a major announcement and, and you guys figure prominently into that as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, Jen, Tyler, thank you so much for, for awesome. joining us and we will circle back with you in coming weeks, obviously. Sounds great. Thank everybody you, have a have a safe weekend. Keep moving, everybody. Talk to you soon. All right. The Fitness Minute is brought to you by Fix Body Group with locations in San Diego and Phoenix. Go to fixbodygroup.com. Okay, so joining us on the line, we've got our lead basketball analyst, Connor Bonfilio. Uh, Connor has uh, has been kind of had his finger on the pulse of a couple of, of uh, play-in basketball games last night. Connor, are you there? I'm here, Finn. Okay. What do you got for us? Yeah, so I personally attended the Willow Canyon-Arcadia play-in game, a uh, five-day matchup. It was in surprise. Willow Canyon was hosting Arcadia. Uh-huh. Um, it didn't disappoint. Packed house. Both teams came out of the gate hot. Deep nice. balls were flying everywhere. Um, they were pressing. We are getting steals, deflections. Energy was super high. Um, gym was completely packed. Um, it was everything you love to see about basketball. Um, and I, I wanted to say Willow Canyon were the slight favorites. They had a, a, a slight edge in terms of ranking, and they were at home. Um, they came out, they won the first quarter, they were up 18-15 after one, yeah. but then after that, it was pretty much all Arcadia the rest of the game. Oh boy! Um, they scored 20 points in the second quarter and then never trailed in the second half. Um, a lot of that has to do with Evan Clayton, who's led the way for them all year, um, but the game changer for the Titans was Brandon Austin. Senior point guard, he came into the game averaging about six points per game and finished with almost 20. Hmm. So, tripled his scoring average for the year in one game. Um, you could tell he didn't want to lose. Yeah. And 
I talked to Coach uh, Stephen Danford after the game, and he said, I, I told them in the locker room at halftime, we're all seniors. You guys have 16 minutes, and that's all you have. Um, we executed down the stretch, made free throws, which he said was new for them because they're not a very good free throw shooting team. But he challenged them saying, do you guys want to end it here or do you want to move on? And I think that's a fantastic way to get guys motivated, and it clearly worked. So, and on the other side of the coin, obviously Willow Canyon season comes to an end as a result, and uh, Coach Joe Coletti has done a great job for them in building that program. A lot of personalities on that team, and, and it, it, they were a lot of fun to watch. So uh, congratulations to, to you know, on the success of Willow Canyon this season, unfortunately coming to an end, but uh, congratulations to Arcadia as well in, in moving on. What was the other game? Yeah, so in 6A, um, we had Corona del Sol versus Sandra Day O'Connor, and Let's just say Corona del Sol is peaking at the right time. Wow. Um, they were able to get this one done. They won 57-45. Holding any team to 45 points is going to be um, an accomplishment in okay. a 6A basketball game. That's impressive. And head coach for Corona del Sol, Neil McDonald, said holding them to 45 points, got to be happy about that, saying this is the best defensive team he's ever had. So huge praise for his, his squad. Um in terms of Sandra Day O'Connor, it was their front court leading the way, but the guards got it done for Corona del Sol. Um, <clears throat> their sophomore guard, Preston Lee, had 13 points, seven coming in the fourth quarter. So, um, pretty convincing win for them. Okay. Um, holding a team to 45 points, like yeah. I said, is impressive. The last time they had scored that little was in January 7th. Corona del Sol is looking good going into the playoffs. What's uh, what's coming this week? What do you what are you uh, focused on uh, for uh, for the team and and uh, everything else for the postseason? What do you want to well, see? We're still waiting to hear on um, the results of all the playing games. We know the winners, but now it's just deciding who plays who okay. in the playoffs. Right? There's yeah. a few teams that I think people need to watch out for in terms of sleepers or surprise uh, choices to get in. Um, in terms of 6A, we already talked about Corona del Sol. That's a big one. Two teams in 5A to look out for. Ironwood Ridge. I watched them earlier this year. They're led by Cole Anderson. He's a senior, a lefty. He's a beast. Um, I watched them play Willow Canyon earlier in the year. They are a force to be reckoned with. They have a lot of good guys. Cole Anderson's going to lead the way for them. Andrew Kane, another really good player. He's actually a Division One baseball commit. Uh, clearly a freak athlete. Um, does a lot of things for them. So, uh, they just beat North Canyon in the play-in game. They were the 18 seed. North Canyon was the 15. So a little upset there, um, but they're a good team. Uh, on the other side of the bracket, Canyon View. They just played Desert Mountain. They came in as the 20 seed, um, and Desert Mountain was the 13. They won 59-57. Nice. That team is impressive. I watched them score 100 points in a basketball game. Wow. Impressive. So they have a lot of offensive firepower. Dante Marshall, really good impressive player to knowledge yeah. McNeil. He's actually a freshman. Reminds me a lot of JT Thomas, the Saguaro freshman, two guys that are just starting their high school careers and playing above their age. <clears throat> Excuse me. So two guys to look out for there. Um, and then okay. in terms of four a, um, we had Saguaro versus Dysert. Yeah. And I was pulling for Lucas Ramirez. I've been covering them all season. They were just able to squeak into the playing game with the 20 seed, but not able to get it done as Dicer will advance. So um, those are a couple teams to look out for in the playing game. We are still waiting to hear the results um, for playoffs. For brackets. Okay. Awesome. Lead basketball analyst with his finger to the pulse, Connor Bonfilio. Connor, thanks again, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you next week. Thank you. All right. Wow, that's already the end of another segment here. I, mean, I had a whole, whole bunch of things scripted we were going to talk about, Coach and, and no Geraldine. Worries. But but when we come back after the break, we are going to hear from Saguaro Sabercat basketball report with Coach Lucas Ramirez. Folks, stick around for that. And uh, and Coach, it, Coach, so far, what do you think? I, I love it. It's just it's it's pretty so fun, cool isn't it? Just sitting right here. Watching it all happens. Yeah, this is, this is like ground zero of yes, radio sir. here. Anyway, so uh, and and Geraldine, when we come back, like I said, we're we're going to talk to Coach Ramirez. Uh, we'll get a, his thoughts on his season. Obviously, uh, had a tough one the other night. Season is over for them, but a lot of optimism looking ahead. Then we've got a re- recruiting spotlight report brought to you by, by my recruits. We'll be joined by our very own Nick Hogan and uh, Coach Perona will be calling in for that as well. 
and the rest of the show. So a lot of good stuff, folks. Don't go anywhere. Thanks again for listening to the Varsity Sports Show here on AM 1060, KDUS, Arizona. We'll be right back. Monday nights from 7 to 8 p.m. It's James Out West featuring Ryan Brooks as the duo breaks down the NFL, NBA, and the local sports scene here on KDUS AM 1060. I'm Melissa Munoz with the Varsity Sports Show, keeping you updated with Arizona Community College Athletics and high school sports around the Valley. You can find me on Twitter at underscore Alyssa Munoz. Are you unable to do the things you love? Do you know your daily habits could be better to enhance your quality of life? Are you suffering with chronic pain or chronic illness and can't find the right solution that works for you? Fix Body Group was created so you have a team of professionals to help you achieve your health goals and get you back to doing what you love again. In Scottsdale, go to FixBodyGroup.com or call 480-795-5329. Fix Body Group, proud partners of the Varsity Sports Show and Fitness Minute with Tyler Mayer. The Varsity Sports Show is proud to partner with Sabercat Athletics. That's right, the Scottsdale Saguaro Sabercats are on the Varsity Sports Show. Join the Varsity team as we cover the Cats during the Sabercat Report on Saturday morning's Varsity Sports Show on AM 1060 KDUS Arizona, featuring players, coaches, and commentary. Look out for live stream coverage of Saguaro Sabercat sporting events by going to YouTube and searching for Varsity Sports Show, then click that subscribe button to stay up to date. The Saguaro Sabercats are here. The decades of sports experience pouring out Tuesday nights from 6 to 7 p.m. with Killer Bees Ball with Jim Brinson and Howard Balzer on AM 1060 and KTUS1060.com. You're listening to the home of Saguaro Sabercat Basketball, the Varsity Sports Show, AM 1060, KDUS, Arizona. And now... Here's Coach Lucas Ramirez. Welcome back to the Varsity Sports Show, AM 1060 KDUS, Arizona. Vince Delisio here, joined in studio by the great Coach Kelly Moore, his wife Winnie, and Geraldine Torellis, host of the Spring Spotlight Series. And uh, and also uh, a guy whose name is on this segment, Coach uh, Lucas Ramirez, Saguaro Sabercats basketball. Coach Ramirez, how are you, sir? Hey, good morning. How are you guys doing? Coach... Tough season. The other, first of all, I want you to meet a couple of special people here. I, Coach Moore said he never he never met you, and for somebody that that claims to know everybody, I'm surprised mm. that you haven't met Coach Moore. That's that's <laughs> on me. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, how you guys doing? Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah, yeah. nice to meet you. Yeah, so I uh, during the break I was just talking about how you're you're you know you're so, so well rounded, well grounded, and and just an all around good guy. So don't let me down here today, Coach. But uh, Coach, it, season came to an end the other night. Tell us about it. Yeah, no, uh, you know we played a, a talented dive start team, played on the road at their place, um, you know, and and hey, hey postseason, you know, everyone, everyone who's who's in position to have a chance to keep advancing there for a reason. Um, you know, proud of our guys played, played a pretty solid first half and, and, you know, credit to dice art. They did some things better than we did in the second half. And, you know, that was the ball game. So it was a 10 point difference. Um, you know, you can break that down in many, which ways, uh, but overall it was a good year. You know, we're young. We have a lot of young guys coming back, um, you know, which we're super excited about from, from the freshman JT Thomas all the way to our our uh, very very big junior class, um, you know we're excited to get back to work with all of our guys. Geraldine, do you have a question for Coach uh, Ramirez? Yeah, I did. Hey, Coach. Um, so, how did you feel this season compared to your first season as head coach? Um, that's a really good question. Uh, last year was very very unique. Uh, as we all know, just dealing with COVID and the delays and the cancellations and this, that, and the third. Um, so last year, it felt like we were just kind of flying a million miles an hour with no control for a lot of things. Just uh, And then, you know, fast forward to this year, uh, just very different. We were able to have a, a full off season, being able to work with our guys, um, spending more time with them overall compared to last year. Uh, coincidentally enough, season was impacted more by COVID this year than it was last year. Um, 
But, I mean, both years, very, very interesting for not just myself, but any coach, uh, you know, navigating these waters. But at the end of the day, you know, we're still coaching young men um, and, you know, competing to win games. So that's what it's all about. Coach, uh, Coach Kelly Moore, who's in studio with us. Coach Moore, you've been doing this a long time. I have a question for you. So, so Coach Ramirez stepped in last year, first year as a head coach, right. had 11 seniors on his basketball team. 11 out of the 13 kids on the team were seniors. They won their, their region title right. uh, this year. Rebuild, brand new. Where do you go from here? Well, uh, only, only up. Yeah. Right? I mean, everything that you begin to install, I'm sure Coach Ramirez spent a lot of time with those seniors and I'm sure that they uh, appreciate the fact that they got to lead what's going to be his future and the school's future. Yeah. Coach Coach Lucas Ramirez, Saguaro Sabercat Report. Coach Ramirez, good luck this offseason. We'll look forward to circling back with you. Yeah, no, appreciate all you guys do, and, and we look forward to continuing the relationship with not just Saguaro basketball, but with Saguaro. So we'll see you here in the spring for some baseball. Yeah, I hope. looking and, forward. Oh, of course. Coach, you we'll, wouldn't miss uh, that. Hey, maybe I can even join you and call a couple of Yes, episodes. yes. My 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 color analyst, Lucas Ramirez, he called some football games with me this oh, right year. The on. guy's a pretty – pretty. he coaches football. I, I or he did, so he's pretty good. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. All right. It's time for the Recruiting Spotlight, sponsored by My Recruits and Coach Perot. All right, so now it's time to uh, bring in our own expert on uh, high school football, and that's uh, our, our one of our team members, Nick Hogan. Nick, what do you got for us today? Hey, guys. How you doing? What, where are you? Sounds like you're on the road to somewhere. No, I'm just, I'm just in my apartment. Is there, like, a bad connection or something? Yeah, well, yeah, there's a little bit of static going on. It sounded like you were heading down to Rocky Point or something. Oh, no, I'm glad I'm not. But... <laughs> okay, all right. What do you got? Hopefully it clears up, but um, today we're going to be talking about Dominic Bogsy. He's a class of 2023 high school quarterback at Central High School in Phoenix. And so let me just give you a little bit of background about him. In his first seven career starts, Dominic has led his team with 23 touchdowns. He's led him to five wins and has hosted a 118 quarterback rating. He also led all of Arizona 4A through 6A in yards per passing completion and finished all region and all academic first team 5A. Mm. He's a 4.3 GPA student and National Merit Scholarship finalist. Dominic's a three-sport athlete as he also plays baseball and track. As well, as he works multiple jobs, including helping coaching and mentoring younger athletes. Coach Prone says Dominic's strengths are calmness, maturity, resilience, being comfortable, being uncomfortable. He pretty much sums it up. And especially just his work ethic. He has a great feel for the game. Trusting throws downfield in the pocket under pressure. On the field, he is the ultimate field general without any bias towards his, who his teammates are or what opportunities are presented. Dominic takes him anywhere, anytime, with anyone attitude to the quarterback position that is rare in this day of call young quarterbacks finished with agendas. As you know, Vince, from your coaching experience, there can be a lot of quarterbacks who are a lot more worried about me, 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 and not the team. Dominic seems to have those really, really sought-after attributes where everything's about the team and it's not always about him. He makes he makes the players around the players around him better and pushes his teammates to believe in themselves and a team-first vision. To Coach Barone, there's not a question that this young man's going to excel at the next level as a student athlete, field general, and leader. And he's really looking forward to see what university is going to be a good fit for him and what university is going to hit a home run by recruiting him because he sees – that school is being a really, really lucky school. From my personal film study, I see a really versatile playmaking quarterback. Dominic has the ability to make plays outside the pocket as a good athlete. His big arm allows him to give his receivers a chance to make big plays down the field. And his arm talent and speed should be enough for some for him to attract some offers as he approaches his senior year. In the end, you know, these athletic quarterbacks that are quick and fast that can move in. These are the quarterbacks that are really the new era type of quarterbacks. But obviously, there still are pocket passing quarterbacks, and Dominic can do that. But a lot of what teams run now are guys who need to get out of the pocket and move around a little bit with the new structure of the offenses. And he can definitely fit into that mold, which I think is a big deal. And also, he just throws the ball down the field. I yeah. mean, we talked about that stat earlier where he has, where he's leading – Arizona 4A through 6A in yards per passing completion. Wow. That 
that means you're throwing the ball down the field. You can't lead that stat unless you are consistently throwing the ball, you know, over the safety's head. Like, he's throwing a lot of fly routes, a lot of posts over the middle. Like, he's making those big-time throws. And that's really what you have to do at the college level. You know, you're down two-minute drill, down by a score. you got to throw the ball. And that's what quarterbacks are expected to do and put the team in their back a little bit. And if you have the arm talent, that's at least a really good start before you're in that position. Well, it's interesting. He, uh, he, he, Central High School was put back on the map this year, and mm-hmm. it was a lot of it. Coach, as you know in your right. experience, it's got to come from the quarterback position. Sure. So, uh, so he he did that and more. And he's only a junior. He'll be back next year. So look for some big things in Phoenix Union with Central High. They got a brand new turf field too. That's pretty cool. So, awesome, Nick. Thanks so much for that report. Great job. Right. Well, thanks, guys. All right. Coach Perone, good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you guys? <laughs> the man, the myth himself. Coach, obviously you know Coach Moore, and I don't know if you met, right. had a chance to meet uh, Geraldine Torellis, but uh, uh, our, our new staffer here and uh, journalist on, on the show. Coach, what do you got for us? Well, the first thing I want to say and I want to address is, um, you know, in, in my business I come across I, every type of head coach. Um, yeah. And though I haven't had the pleasure of really to know Coach and I would have liked to have, it, you know, the one thing that always stood true to players I've spoke to, parents I've spoke to, colleagues of his that I spoke to is he's a true gentleman of the game. and And that's something that um, this game, you know, maybe lacks a little bit of. You've got some coaches out there that care about what they look like and not their players. And uh, this is a man that always put his players first. And uh, it's a shame, you know, Buckeye took a step back with this one. And, you know, you wish the best for the program. But, um, yeah, I definitely think that uh, – this is a man that he's a, he's a program changer. You know, this is the kind of guy, if you want to change your program and that's what he did there, he he made that program relevant. And not only did he make it relevant, but he added a a major touch of class to it. So I want to wish him luck. I appreciate you coach. I'm pretty humbled by those words. My goodness. Yeah. Do you you ever think that people would, uh, would say stuff like that about you? Well, if they really knew me, they wouldn't. Yeah. Um, Well, I I don't know. I, that's pretty impressive. I, uh, uh, high praise and and uh, thank you for that, Coach Perone. Uh, what you've got a kid you wanted to talk about too? Yeah, well, you know, I, I just want to uh, add on to Nick because Nick's doing a great job with our recruits. Yeah. And, you know, that that central program. I, I want to give credit to Chandler Holvick, the head coach. I mean, he has really given one hundred percent of his heart and soul into that program. That program was struck by not one but two tragedies last year. They yeah. they lost you know, two young men. Um, and when I spoke to him about Dominic Bogchi coming into that program, he, uh, you know, he said from day one, you know, the players just bought in. You know, they yeah. looked at this kid like, hey, we need a leader, and, you know, you're our guy. And they got behind him 100%. So he's a special quarterback. I know there's a lot of big-time uh, education schools that are looking at him. Larry Kimbaum over at Washington University. St. Louis loves him. They, yeah. they have – you know, meetings pretty regularly. Um, but, you know, switching from the quarterback spot, let's talk about the guys that go after the quarterback. All right. And, Coach, by the way, we got just under two minutes. You're good. I'll whack it out. All Here right. We go. Here we Jason go. Jason Kirkland, Mountain Ridge. Oh, I love this kid. I love Kirkland. 225, yeah. seven sacks, seven tackles for a loss. They call him the technician. One of the most technically sound defensive ends you will ever find. <laughs> yeah. An engineering major who, once again, 4.4, 4.5 GPA, top 10% of his class, um, big-time player on the camp circuit most recently, out in Las Vegas. Uh, Oh, Coach, you still – there he is. They need to watch this guy because he's going to be – Okay. He knows how to get to the quarterback. He knows how to disrupt the run. (laughs) <laughs> like I said, Ivy League, multiple schools at that level. Yeah. Him, Yale, Princeton, Brown, 
watch out for Jason Kirkland. Jason Kirkland, great kid. And uh, and we're going to hear a lot more and see a lot more from this kid before all is said and done. So thanks so much, Coach Perone. We will talk to you in coming weeks. Absolutely. Big things ahead. Thank you. Love the show. Coach Moore, best of luck. Thank All you. Right. Appreciate it, brother. All right, guys, when we come back from the break, we've got an interview, our JUCO report, uh, from a, an All-American and uh, our very own David Montoya, our beat writer from the Holcomb Junior College Athletic Conference. Folks, stick around. We are going to learn more about Cactus Shadows High School graduate Cole Cusitrone and his transition to playing defense and the interesting offer he received uh, from a, a, an HBCU. It uh, should be a lot of fun. We'll be right back after the break. I'll turn those picks into gold. Wall-to-wall NFL coverage and the biggest stories coming to you from 3 to 5 p.m. The Rich Eisen Show here on KDUS AM 1060 and KDUS1060.com. Hello, everyone. My name is Nick Hogan. I'm super excited to introduce myself as one of the newest members of the Varsity Sports Show. As a former high school athlete myself, I know just how important sports are to each and every community. And I'm so excited to begin telling stories here in your community in the Valley. For the Varsity Sports Show, I'll be broadcasting games as well as providing content that covers all of your favorite team's top stories. Until next time, I'll see you at the stadium. Welcome to the Jaguar Nation. The Varsity Sports Show is proud to partner up with Canyon View High School in the West Valley to be the voice of Jaguar Athletics. Tune in on Saturdays to hear the Jaguar Nation featuring coaches, students, and staff between 9 and 10 a.m. on AM 1060 KDUS and subscribe to the Varsity Sports Show YouTube channel to get free exclusive coverage of Canyon View sporting events. Welcome to the Jaguar Nation. Jack it up. Training Better Athletes was founded by renowned football coach Ron Sowers with the philosophy of training well-rounded young people in mind and body. TBA is the go-to for middle schoolers through the pros. Coach Sowers has worked with all sports but specializes in football offensive and defensive line skills training. Whether it's one-on-one or group training, reach out to Coach Sowers at trainingbetterathletes.com or call him at 602-435-9064. You can't cheat the grind. Check out the Doug Gottlieb Show, Monday through Friday, 1 to 3 p.m., right here on KDUS AM 1060. It's the JUCO Report on AM 1060 KDUS Arizona, the Varsity Sports Show. News and notes from the Hohokam Junior College Athletic Conference. Hello, I'm David Montoya with the Varsity Sports Show here in North Phoenix with Cole Cusatrone with the Maricopa Mustangs. He has some news. He just got an offer from Jackson State going from an HJCAC program to a D1 program. How are you feeling about this offer? Feeling blessed. You know, it's been a, it's been a hell of a ride. You know, you, you had talked to me earlier about how much the process goes into, you know, the hard work, the dedication, everything uh, that goes into this whole recruiting process. It's finally coming into fruition that you, you got to where you want to be. Can you tell me a little bit about the feelings that you're you know, feeling right now with all of that and being able to you know, see everything come to fruition? I think, you know, especially with after getting the opportunity, I would say that uh, it's humbling, you know, especially with all, you know, all the hard work that I put in academically, athletically, um, and then financially. I think you know, it's, it's humbling to finally see you know, the hard work pay off. And we're here on the same road where Cole would run late at night and be able to just work out with all this going on, him going to school, him going to work. Can you tell me a little bit more about why this place means so much to you? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, this place, you know, may not mean much to a lot of people. Um, but to me, you know, this is kind of where I, uh, I grew up mentally. Um, you know, late at night, 11 or 12 o'clock at night, uh, jumping my rope, you know, going on my runs. Um, it kind of built a mentality for me, you know, when that fourth quarter came and that fourth down came, I'd always think back to this road, and I'd be like, you know, this road was a lot worse than that fourth down, or if you're feeling tired, you know, you already pushed yourself here, you know, so, you know, since you already did all the work here, you know, that fourth, you know, that fourth down or fourth quarter, it's not as hard, you know, because you already sacrificed everything out here for it. And you went from a D3 program down to the HJCAC, bet on yourself, and now you have a D1 program. Can you tell me a little about what you were thinking when transferring down? Um, it was crazy. I always saw it, you know, not, a, not a lot of people around me really saw it, but I, uh, I saw the vision. And so when I was up there, I, you know, I made the, uh, the decision to uh, come back down and I was presented this opportunity by coach Wadowski and coach Perone to play for the HJZAC. 
uh, HJCAC. And I, um, I took that opportunity. It was funny. It was two days before the first game. I was on the team. I learned the playbook overnight. And uh, ever since then, you know, that's, that's where I took off. And what do you look forward to most now getting this D1 offer? Uh, what do you look forward to with, you know, the coming future, being able to play at that next level? Um, I'm excited to play at a high level. Um, I'm also excited to, you know, prove that I am capable of playing at that level. Um, I'm excited to represent the league, the HJGAC, you know, to the hard work and determination of the whole aspect of academically, um, mentally, financially, and athletically, that if you, know, if you do put the work in, it does pay off. But I, I want to represent where I'm from, where I came from, and the sacrifices I made at the program that I chose. And is there anything that you'd like to say to any of your fellow HJCAC athletes that are out there wanting to do uh, this next step and play at the next level? I would say it's going to take everything you have. Um, you got to be active on Twitter. You know, you have to put the work in. You know, you have to go to work. You have to do everything academically. You have to sacrifice, and you're going to have to die for it. You have to have the mentality of, I'm ready to die for this. Because if you don't have that, you know, there's tons of kids that are going to be presented the opportunity that you're going for. You know, I'm not the only linebacker. There's thousands of linebackers. You're, you know, you're with the whole COVID thing right now. You know, you have the transfer portal, so you're going to have to outwork everybody, but you have to be prepared and mentally willing to die for it. All right, thank you so much, Cole. Again, I'm David Montoya with the Varsity Sports Show in North Phoenix reporting. Okay, guys, we are joined by pain specialist uh, from Pinnacle Pain and Spine, the, the founder of the practice, Dr. Matthew Crooks. Dr. Crooks, let, I'd, I'd like to, uh, to, to pick your brain a little bit, and we like to get to know our audience uh, and, uh, or our guests, I should say, a little bit by finding out exactly how you got into this area. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I first became interested in um, this pain management, interventional pain and in sports uh, when I was a resident uh, in anesthesiology at Johns Hopkins. And uh, this subspecialty is uh, it's a bit of a hidden gem. We don't get all that much training on it. Uh, the non-surgical, uh, you know, injection-based therapy and sports therapies like this in our medical school, but um, you know, I was an anesthesiology resident and I was doing labor and delivery epidurals, you know, for, you know, uh, prior to pregnancy in the hospital. And so I was seeing how these injections can make a big difference, as we all know. Well, you specialize in injuries of the spine. Um, what, what's the most common injury that you see, if, if there is such a thing? And, and what are some, mm -hmm. some common maybe ounce of prevention techniques that, that most of us can practice? You know, it's uh, it's kind of age striated. So in the younger population up to about, you know, 40, 45 or so, the most common spinal injury that I see is like a, a disc herniation. So sudden disc protrusion where you get, a, you know, almost immediate back pain. And then sometimes you'll get pain down the leg, like a sciatica type of pain. So that's very common in the like mid age to younger population. As we get older, the more common things that I see are things like arthritis of the spine, which is more the chronic constant back or neck pain that's right along the spine, right in the low back. In terms of prevention, you know, uh, core strengthening exercises, staying moving in general. So walking um, and, you know, of course, physical therapy and rehab and working with a trainer um, can help you stay ahead of things. Um, when you fall off the, the sort of the curve or the improvement curve and it feels like you're kind of plateauing, that's where someone like, um, like I can become a benefit where we can do some things in the office that are very minimally invasive that can get the pain down so that you can get back to that more prevention mode where you're staying ahead of things. One thing I found interesting in, in doing a little bit of background on, on uh, uh, your practice, and, and I saw this thing called IV therapy and clinical rehab. So, so many physicians, you know, want to do surgery without trying other mm -hmm. means, it feels like. And, and I know that every situation is different, but with people in pain, whether it be migraine headaches, back pain, muscular pain, how long does it usually take before someone begins to see results when they see you? And, and tell us a little bit more about IV therapy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So for we can get uh, results really quickly with the with the type of procedures that we do, which are, you know, non-surgical, no, no scar or any sort of uh, incision. In injection, you pretty much can get relief same day and it starts to turn things around pretty quickly with the neck and the low back and even for headaches. And then there are things that we do where you know, with just a needle, you can deaden a little nerve that's causing pain. And then that'll last usually for about a year. So the results are, are pretty quick. 
and more importantly, they allow you to kind of get back to your normal function. And then you kind of, your body's healing takes it the rest of the way. We see these chronic problems. You start to be unable to do the normal things that you do in terms of movement. And if we're able to get people back moving again, get them rehabbing again, you're back on the recovery curve. The IV therapy really allows you to stay ahead of things. So, you know, we, so many of us are walking around dehydrated all day in general, especially your athletes because you're in so much motion and movement. And so uh, they allow you to sort of replenish your, uh, your fluid levels, replenish your nutrients. Uh, we have IVs, you know, that include vitamin C, amino acids, and they allow you to you know, really... Uh, enhance your metabolism, enhance your stem, stamina. They're great for muscle recovery as well. You know, so uh, a lot of the soreness afterwards, the working out or chronic soreness. And then we also have, uh, you know, some, some uh, immune system uh, building IV therapies as well. Um, one of the more exciting IV therapies that we have is uh, ozone therapy. So that's actually a form of pure oxygen that's, uh, that's, um, in the IV itself, and that helps to promote recovery and, uh, and healing as well. Pinnacle Pain and Spine, Dr. Matthew Crooks with locations in Scottsdale, Chandler, and Fountain Hills. PinnaclePainAZ.com or call 480-407-6400. Dr. Crooks, thanks so much for joining us here on the Varsity Sports Show, and uh, we look forward to circling back with you soon. Thanks so much, Vince. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, in, in our final few minutes here, um, I, I wanted to turn this thing over to Geraldine, Coach Moore, Winnie. Geraldine, you, you had some questions you wanted to run by Coach Moore. Go ahead. Yeah, so um, I only met you about an hour ago, <laughs> um, but I have been hearing um, several um, stories and, and people that have, have very high um, opinions about you, and, um, and you're obviously very successful as, as a coach. So based on everything that I've heard, what's really stood out to me is your reputation and the kind of person that you are. Um, and I imagine that the kindness that you showed to other people, you showed to your players as well. What was the dynamic like with your players? <laughs> uh, they might not all say it was all kindness for sure. Uh, we definitely speak truth, but sometimes, you know, you don't have time in the business to tell stories and be kind, although we do do that daily and and over a long period of time but you know in the business uh, when something's got to get changed or it's got to get done right you're not necessarily uh, the kindest of person for sure yeah no i imagine that you know when it kind when it gets down to business right. it's it's time to get to work for sure yeah, our kids our kids give us a lot of grace you know we work on it a lot in the off season and of course in season as well but there's a lot more to be done but you know we just try to build those relationships with kids and parents and and then that helps when those moments come. Yeah. Wow. Coach, I, I am enriched, enlightened, mm -hmm. and I'm so honored that you, you took the time, especially on short notice, to come in and see us today. We had, uh, you know, a lot of great calls and guests and whatnot, but you definitely take the cake as, as one of the all-time <laughs> greatest. Winnie, thank you so much for, for coming in as well. Coach, you have a, a bright journey ahead of you, and I imagine we're going to be reading your name out there, and, and not in a bad way either. Right, I mean, right, good things so. coming up for mm -hmm. you, Coach. Good luck to you. Coach Kelly Moore. Longtime football coach, mentor of youth, and just an all-around spiritual guy. Thanks again, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate the the, uh, the honor of being here. Okay, and I'm honored, and, and I'm also honored that Geraldine Terrell is host of the Spring Spotlight Series. You're going to hear a lot more from her this spring. Uh, Geraldine will be back in with us in the next few weeks. Geraldine, what was your impression? I thought it was so great to be here and uh, just kind of see what goes on behind the scenes and yeah. uh, and get to experience it. It was really exciting and fun. It didn't scare you away either. Not yet, huh? Okay. Not yet. All right. Thanks again to our guest today, uh, Enterprise Eagles coach Ashton Thomas, a basketball program, Fitness Minute with Tyler and Jen Mayer, uh, lead basketball analyst for the Varsity Sports Show, Connor Bonfilio, Saguaro coach Lucas Ramirez, Saguaro boys basketball, uh, Nick Hogan and Coach Perone with the recruiting spotlight sponsored by My Recruits. David Montoya, beat writer for the HJCAC featuring Cole Cusitron this week. Pinnacle Pain and Spine, Dr. Matthew Crooks. Folks, thank you for joining us here on the Varsity Sports Show. So honored, so thrilled. And remember, treat each other well. Have a great weekend. Go Super Bowl. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not favoring one team or the other. But we'll be back next week with a major announcement here on the Varsity Sports Show. Ed and Javon are up next. Vince, out.
Thank you for listening to the Varsity Sports Show. Our mission is to empower education and enable dreams, creating a platform to promote young people in extracurricular activities and community outreach. If you are interested in partnering up with the Varsity Sports Show, find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or call or text us at 480-779-9437. The Varsity Sports Show, Arizona's home for youth, high school, college, and youth.